Newfoundland to Greenland, 650 nautical miles. I've been quite nervous for this passage. It is the first time we sail where there are icebergs, and I have no previous experience of that. The big icebergs can be seen on radar, but the growlers, the small ones, don't show up on the radar screen. They don't move if you hit one, so it's probably the same thing as hitting a rock. The cold water and the rapid low pressures increase the stakes as well. The ice report showed some ice in the beginning, and then nothing until 35 nautical miles from the coast of Greenland. We took a detour the first day to avoid the iceberg area. This is the best time of the year to do this passage. The weather is stable and there are less ice than previous months. We had sunshine the first day, but then the fog rolled in. The whales and dolphins always cheer us up. And this was the first time we saw pilot whales. The storm bird shows some interest in us as well. Halfway between uh, Greenland and uh, the Americas, um, so that direction over there we have Greenland, two and a half days away, and if we look back, we have Newfoundland, uh, two and a half days away. We have had great sailing so far. The two first days were. Uh, quite calm but we could, could sail all the way and uh, lately it's been uh, a little bit more wind uh, and uh, the biggest change it comes from from right in the nose um, so it's quite a bumpy ride right now let's go outside and check how it is sails up right now it is probably uh, 20 to 25 knots of wind and uh, we take it quite easy but it's cold out there so I prefer to stay in here it's much nicer Some everyday life on Svea on the way to Greenland. Here we have Lina uh, being taking her nap while I have to work, or I'm probably supposed to do this, do the dishes, or maybe I can do some reading or fill in all the, uh, all the paperwork, it's not much, uh, we report, no, we don't report anymore what we have, like every 12th hour, we just make a note where we are, how long we have to go and how far we have gone. 
and some comments uh, during the last 12 hours. So it's not much, but it's uh, going quite well right now. Yeah. We sleep in the saloon uh, when it's uh, a lot of waves like, like it is today because in the back it's more more bumpy and uh, the bed is wider so you just roll around. Worst case, we sleep down here on the floor, uh, but uh, so far we don't have to do that. Greenland, we made it. Took us five days so far. Uh, we have pro approximately three hours to go. And uh, we are behind us, you see Hilma. Uh, so we've been sailing uh, together all the way. Uh, we had to wait until the, uh, the light got up this morning. Um, so we uh, had to slow down there last few hours last night but the sailing has been good uh, the visibility has been bad uh, actually we have had three the, the past three days has they've been foggy we haven't seen much so we were quite nervous coming into the iceberg zone um, with no visibility but when we uh, came woke up this morning uh, it was like this with uh, some clouds and a lot of sunshine. We've seen uh, maybe 10 icebergs so far, uh, but no growlers, so uh, it's a lot easier than I expected. So that's a good open. Check out next week's episode when we discover Greenland. In this remote area, thumbs up and comments from you are extra appreciated.